This guide shows you how you can reset Windows back to factory defaults whilst keeping your files. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, this is a great little guide if your computer's playing up and you want to reset it back to factory settings. I'm going to show you how you should be able to do it whilst keeping your documents, your photos, your music, your videos. However, it does lose the settings and it will lose some programs. So I always say back up, please make sure, even though this does say that it's going to keep your documents, your pictures, your photos, your music, your videos, there's no guarantee. Something could go wrong. It's quite a big thing for the computer to do a reinstallation. So it's a good idea, like I say, to make sure that you've backed up anything important on there just in case the worst should happen. Hopefully it won't, but I, can, I cannot guarantee it. So make sure you've got a backup. Secondly, like I say, you're gonna to have to reinstall some of your apps on here. So make sure that you've got the ability to get those apps again, either download them from the internet. So make sure that you've got any key codes, any usernames and any passwords to re-download them. Also, uh, make sure you've got any CDs or media to reinstall them from if that's where you installed them from in the first place. You're also going to lose your favourites and any saved passwords in your browser as well. I have done some videos on how to back up your Google Chrome. It's basically entitled to uh, how to transfer it to a new computer, but the same principles apply because it's going to wipe all the settings. It's actually going to wipe Google Chrome as well if you've got Google Chrome on there. So on my computer here, I've got Google Chrome and LibreOffice. I know it's going to wipe those. Microsoft Edge, it will reinstall that, but it's going to lose all of the favorites. It's going to lose all of the passwords in that. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's no way to back up the passwords that I know of, apart from making sure that you're logged in to a Microsoft account and sync into a Microsoft account. So perhaps look up how to do that. With your emails, if you've got a POP account, then you're gonna need to back up your emails. Now, how do you know if you've got a POP account? Go into your emails and go into account settings. If you get to your emails through a web browser such as Edge or Chrome, then hopefully those are stored on a server elsewhere along with your address book. But if you use Microsoft Outlook, or Thunderbird or Windows Mail or Windows Live Mail, then it's possible that your emails and your contacts will be stored on the computer itself. So have a look to see if you can find out how to back those up first, because like I say, those are liable to be lost. Also, while we're on the subject of emails, make sure you've got your email address and the password to re-log into your emails when you re if you need to reset them back up. I mean, you'll certainly need to re-log into them again if you're using a web-based mail system. So just make sure that you've got your email password there and any other password for any services that you may log into, like I say, like to re-download software or to even simply give your electricity read of meetings, things like that, you log into your bank account. So make sure you've got all those details because any saved passwords and usernames will be wiped from the computer when you do this. So enough about that. So you've backed up, you've got your usernames, you've got your passwords, you've got your means of reinstalling this. So let's just have a look, see what I've got in my computer. So I've got Google Chrome here, I've got LibreOffice, I've got Microsoft Edge, I've not got a lot on here. If I go into the folders here, um, let's just have a look. So on the desktop, I've got nothing. The downloads folder, I've got a couple of downloads and surprise, surprise, these are things that I'm gonna need to reinstall, so LibreOffice and Google Chrome. If I go into Documents, then I've got a couple of spreadsheets there and a, uh, a, a document. Go into Pictures, I've got a few little pictures there from a few holidays. Nothing in Music and nothing in Videos. But I've backed those up to an external device like a USB stick or a hard drive, so I know they're safe, so if the worst should happen and it all fails, then I can get them back. But let's just keep our fingers crossed it doesn't fail. But uh, like I say, make sure you do back up, don't just keep your fingers crossed. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and then just type Reset. 
OK. And after a few moments, after you've typed the word reset, you should see under best match, reset this PC system settings. Move your mouse over that, left click once. Then after a few seconds, you should see this. Now you're looking for reset this PC. So it says here, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose whether to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstalls Windows. So I'm gonna move my mouse over the get started, which is just below that sentence that I just read out. Left click once, and then we should get a little blue box on the screen. So it gives us two options here. So it says, do we wanna keep your files? So, okay, if you're reinstalling, or if you're, if you're resetting the PC because it's giving you a bit of jip, then yeah, keep your files. But like I say, do make sure that you've still got them backed up elsewhere. So I'm gonna click on keep my files. There we go. And it says, how would you like to reinstall Windows? So you've got two options. You've got cloud download, or local reinstall. Okay, what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna try a local reinstall. Cloud download will take a little bit longer because it's got to download Windows again from the internet. So I'm gonna select local reinstall. Also, if you do go, if you do go for cloud download, it is quite a large download. So uh, if you're on a limited internet connection where you haven't got unlimited data, then it could eat into all of your allowance by going to cloud download. So I'm gonna try local reinstall. If that doesn't work, then obviously come back to this point and go and try cloud download. But make sure that you're on unlimited internet connection and it's quite a fast connection because it can use more than four gigabytes of data as it says down there. So yeah, I'm gonna click local reinstall Install. Okay, so this just sums up what we're gonna do. So we're gonna restore apps and settings that came with this PC, and we're gonna reinstall Windows from this device. We've got an option here to change settings. We can click that if we've changed our mind and perhaps we don't want to restore um, pre-installed apps and we don't want to, uh, to reinstall Windows from this device, then we can change that there if we want. But I'm gonna leave it as is, so I'm just gonna click Confirm. Okay, then I'm gonna click Next. And there you go, it says getting things ready, this won't take long. It might take a little while, so just be patient with it. Okay, so I paused that for a little while. That took about three or four minutes. So we've now faced with this. So it says ready to reset this PC. Resetting will change settings back to their defaults, i.e. as it was when you first got the computer. It will keep personal files, so it'll keep anything on your desktop, and that's not the programs. It will keep any personal files stored on the desktop. It'll also keep any personal files stored in downloads, in documents, in music, in pictures, and in videos, but it will wipe everything elsewhere. So it's gonna reinstall Windows from this device, and it's gonna remove all apps and programs. So if we wanna see what apps and programs it's gonna remove, click on view apps that will be removed just there, and there you go, it tells us. So it, here's a list of programs that it's going to re remove and uh, not reinstall so it's down to us to reinstall those but then some of those there will actually get reinstalled but I know for a fact Google Chrome won't, LibreOffice won't, Microsoft Edge now comes with Windows 10 so that should get reinstalled, OneDrive that can be re-downloaded from Microsoft again and the other two things um, I can re-download but then like it says there update for Windows 10 for X64 based systems. That is just an update. So that will automatically get reinstalled anyway. I'm not sure why they put that up there, but uh, there we go. So I'm just gonna click the back button there and then I'm gonna click reset. But uh, this is the point. This is the point of no return. After I've clicked reset, then that is it. You cannot change your mind. Do not try and bolt. Okay, so I'm gonna click reset. And there you go, so it's now preparing. So this bit's gonna take a while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it in a little while. But don't forget, don't try and cancel it from now on because you could cause more problems by canceling. So uh, I'll pause this, we're gonna come back to it a little later. Okay, so the computer's now restarting. That did take quite a while. I think that took about 20 minutes and now it's automatically restarting. That will restart a few times, just be patient. So here we go, it now says preparing. Make sure, you should. I should have said this earlier, but make sure if it's a laptop, make sure it's plugged into the mains and switched on because you really don't want it running out of battery right now. So here we go, it now says resetting this PC. Now this may hang on this section for quite a while. So just be patient with it. It can take several hours. So like I say, really be patient with it. And now we've got a percentage sign. Now this percentage will get stuck at certain points and it might look 
as though it's not doing anything but please be assured as long as those little circles are spinning it will be doing something like i say sometimes the uh, the percentage uh, will go up quite quickly sometimes it will be very slow sometimes it'll look like it's hung but whatever it does just leave it like i say it could take several hours so just be patient i'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it a little bit later okay so it's finished resetting that took a while about an hour on mine and now it's installing windows again this is going to take some time as it says there don't turn your pc off this will take a while so it's going to get up to probably about 30 percent and then restart and then it's going to go from 30 percent to around about 70 percent and then restart again and then when it gets to 100% uh, windows should then only be a few minutes away from being ready to use again so again I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it okay so it's just finished the install and now it's just doing a last little minute sort of update clean up for you so this is going to take a few extra minutes but hopefully not too long and the screen might go black like mine has for a little bit but don't worry it's still working away so just be patient as you can see it says this might take several minutes don't turn off your pc so we're going to pause this and we're going to come back to it in a moment so there you go that took a little while but it's finally come back and there you go my desktop has been restored but obviously i've as you can see here google chrome's missing LibreOffice is missing and many more will be missing from yours but helpfully it's given us here removed apps so if i double click on removed apps that should hopefully give us a list of all the apps that have been removed from the system let's just see what happens there so it's, it's asking us to reset up microsoft edge so you can choose this if you've got a sign in and you want to resync your data then you can click that i'm just going to click start without your data for the moment and i'm going to say uh, continue without this data i'm not going to allow it to have access to my recent browsing data that's my choice and i'm not going to let the web make uh, let let the web work for me so i'm just going to say confirm and start browsing so there you go that gives me a list of all the stuff that i've got to reinstall if i can reinstall it like i say there's some things on here like microsoft edge web view runtime that will reinstall automatically update for windows 10 that's going to up that's going to install automatically if I click on some of these, some of these highlighted in blue, like I say, LibreOffice, that's highlighted in blue. I can left click on that and it should, there you go, take me to the page where I can re-download it again, which is uh, absolutely great. If I click the back button there, just to go back to that list, there you go, OneDrive there, that's highlighted in blue. So I can click on that. And again, that will take me to the page where I can download it. Unfortunately, not all apps are highlighted in blue. I don't know why that is, like Google Chrome, for instance, that's not highlighted in blue. Obviously, Microsoft and Google haven't come to an agreement to include that, but there you go. So that guide showed you how to reset Windows and hopefully retain your files. Let's just do a quick check. I'm just gonna go into a yellow folder and let's just check, see if it's retained my file. So go into documents, Yep, there you go, there's my documents there. But because I haven't got LibreOffice installed at the moment, they won't open. Let's just go into pictures. Yep, all my pictures are still there fully intact. And let's just go to downloads. And yeah, the downloads are still in there. So there you go, that guide showed you how to reset Windows back to its original factory settings. Hope you enjoyed this guide, and if you did, why not stick around at my YouTube channel? Have a look around. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on twitter at cwtech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk liking sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel thank you very much